So I built my own lithium ion battery packs for my e-bike uh, a couple months ago and they've been working great. Uh, some of the questions I've got from that video are about how to keep the cells balanced and keep them safe. Well what I've been using is this guy which is a BatGo uh, battery charger and it works with 8S and uh, I've been experimenting with it and getting some good results. Okay so here's our pack. It's all wired up. I've got my BMS connected and my battery uh, testing leads. Uh, it's a bit of a wiring mess right now but we'll tidy that up in a minute. Let's do some checking to make sure that everything's working properly. First thing I'm going to do is just check the battery output. Make sure that we're getting the expected voltage and that all the cells are connected and accounted for. So that's 26.7, that's correct. Now I'm going to check my, with my battery monitor and see what each cell is reading, how far out of balance our pack is. Okay, so here's what our battery monitor says. Uh, 26.9 volts for the pack, that's correct. Uh, it's showing 146 millivolts uh, between the highest and lowest cell. Uh, that's quite a bit, but we're going to fix that in a sec. And we're on LiPo 7S, which is perfect. So we're going to go in here to cell balance, start, and we're going to let that puppy balance. It'll probably take about, oh, it could take 12 to 24 hours for this to balance. It's going to basically siphon power from the higher cells and put it into the lower cells until we reach somewhere around 10 or 15 millivolts difference. So we'll let that go and we'll see what happens. And here we are after 29 hours and we're balanced down to one millivolt. Doesn't get much better than that. Now I'm going to charge the battery and uh, we'll keep the balancer on and see if we can get it fully charged and equally balanced. One thing I like a lot about this unit is it does have a low uh, voltage alarm which you can set so that if any of the cells get down to that voltage it'll uh, beep and let you know. I find the battery balancer is able to keep the cells within about 20 millivolts normally, well within acceptable range. After using the bike for a couple months and keeping the battery balancer on there whenever I'm charging and when I'm riding and discharging the battery, I found that it does do a very good job and I would recommend it as a good way to keep your battery pack balanced. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.